You mentioned that recording of Peter Gabriel and how on some speakers you could hear the crowd noise and on others you couldn't. And that to me gets to the concept of accuracy that is so often talked about, maybe ad nauseum and maybe uh, not really understood, or at least people have very different definitions of what accuracy is. Mm -hmm. And to me, that's the that's the definition that I use is is it is the speaker or the system overall giving you what's on the recording and that's just sort of a, a very obvious example of it's not accurate and we're not talking about whether it sounds like it did if you were in the you know tenth row of that concert or you know if Peter Gabriel was singing to you in your living room or you know whatever but it's accurate you know, or in this case, very obviously not accurate to what is on the recording. Do you have any thoughts on accuracy and loudspeaker design? Everyone talks about width, everyone talks about height, and then there's accuracy. And usually people, when they say accuracy, they mean tonal accuracy. And that is like, I'll give you for instance, the, the night shades paired with a, a pair of amplifiers that we use at our, um, showrooms and at exponent calf if i play certain female recordings i get chills literally i'll like get goosebumps and it just has this amazing tonality to it that is so wonderful that it, you have like almost this physical emotion physical and emotional response to it simultaneously it is absolutely not accurate. If I put a microphone on it and I measure that, it does not, it is not a flat frequency response curve, but it is special. I'm also getting all of the detail off of the recording. If I can do that, that's what I'm trying to achieve. Is it tonally perfectly accurate? No. But am I getting an extraordinary listening experience and am I having, hearing everything that's there? Yes. Yeah, and what I think you're getting into there is something that I call, you know, it's, it's about the experience of it. And, you know, there's, there's a difference between does it sound right or does it feel right? Ah, you know, that's a and great way of phrasing it. I like that. I'm probably going to steal that. Go for it. I mean, it's the thing where, I mean, in a very literal physical sense, sound is vibration. So we are feeling it. And at a higher level, I think a mu music is emotional. It's about emotion. It's about uh, expressing a feeling, you know, whether you're talking to a rock musician or a jazz musician, or, you know, whether you're talking to the singer or the drummer, it's about conveying an emotion or a feeling. And uh, at least my thought, personal thought is that we, you know, on accuracy and all this stuff is we, we, we obsess or some audiophiles tend to obsess, uh, you know, a lot on tonal accuracy, like you said. And, uh, you know, I like to, and, and we all can't, we can't help it, you know, in the, in the hobby, because we're, you know, we're chasing gear and, you know, we're, we're more technical, especially when you're in the industry. But mm -hmm. uh, the, the best systems are the ones uh, for me and for many of the people that I talk to on a daily basis are the ones that make you forget that you're listening to gear. And they, you just, you know, you, I talk to customers all the time that tell me, you know, I, turned on a piece of music and two hours later, you know, the, I was still going, you know, it was in this listening session. And to me, it's, it's about feeling uh, as much as what it sounds like. Yeah. I mean, if you can cause somebody to put their phone down and pay attention to not even think about the phone, get away from that, that kind of, you're now having an extraordinary experience. And I think that is all like that's, those are the moments that bring me back to my childhood, like hearing that first infinity and Carver system when I was a kid, like remembering that first moment, what great sound was, um, hearing that million dollar system and being like, my God, this is amazing. And just having that emotional response is what's, that's why I love music. I mean, and in a root level, I'm a, like, I think of myself as music first and equipment second. The, set, the equipment is a means to an end to that extraordinary experience.